What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com, back with another SketchUp model performance tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're going to talk about five ways that you can quickly speed up the performance of any SketchUp model. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so model credit for this model goes to the Model Auto Render by Nico M. So you can download this from the 3D Warehouse and follow along if you want to. The other thing is we do talk about this more in depth in the course. So in the SketchUp Essentials course, we talk a lot more about what actually makes the SketchUp models tick and how you can increase performance um, in a lot of different ways. So if you are interested in that, make sure to check out the course at thesketchupessentials.com slash course. All right, so the first tip that I always give people for improving performance in their models is to go into the styles and edit the line styles. And specifically, what you wanna do is you wanna go into the edit tab and you wanna uncheck the box for profiles. And so what that means is basically SketchUp is going in and it's adding a second layer of thickness to your edges in here. And so when you check this box, notice how your lines look thicker, which is good for some things, but not always for others. In this particular situation, it's probably better to turn them off and so basically what that's doing is that's loading the edges twice so it's loading them once in to show them and then it's loading the profiles on top of that notice how if you uncheck the box for profiles you get this little icon right here the little clock icon indicates that this is now a fast style meaning it's a style that'll increase performance in your SketchUp model and then once you're done you can save that change by clicking on the button right here for update style with changes all right, so tip two is to turn off shadows in your model. So turning off shadows is probably the easiest way to click, quickly increase your model performance inside of SketchUp. And so you can find this by going over into your shadows on the right-hand side of the page. So you're gonna look for this dropdown right here. By the way, if any of these don't show up, you can go to Window, Default Tray, and check the box for whatever you're looking for, in this case, shadows. But what you wanna do in order to turn shadows off is to click the little button right here. That's gonna turn off shadows. And so shadows can be really good for adjusting the way that your model looks, but um, they also take up a lot of performance for not a lot of gain. So generally speaking, I recommend turning those off unless you're doing a final export of some sort. All right, so tip three is kind of a funny one because you wouldn't think that you'd need to do it, but it can really affect your performance. And that tip is to make sure that you've minimized the outliner over here on the right hand side of the page. So we've talked about the outliner before. It's a great tool for keeping your models organized. But the problem is when you come in here and work in your model, the outliner tries to um, update dynamically. So if I start making changes, for example, like adding some extra trash cans or something like that, Notice how this flashes every time I do that. Well, the more stuff you get inside of your uh, SketchUp model, the more things this is trying to update dynamically. And what'll happen eventually is you'll get so much stuff in here that it'll just uh, it'll just kind of spin while it goes through all the items in your model. However, just by coming in here and minimizing the outliner, then that's not gonna work in the background and your performance is gonna get a lot better. All right, so the next tip is something you should do anytime you download models from the 3D Warehouse. So a lot of the time when you download things from the 3D Warehouse, it has a lot of leftover stuff inside of it. So everything from unused component definitions to unused materials, things like that. Well, when you save your SketchUp model, you're saving all of that stuff inside of your file, and it can make your file size pretty big. However, if you want to get rid of all the stuff that you're not using, you can go up to Window, Model Info, and you want to click on the button for statistics. And so to see all the statistics, make sure you've checked the box for show nested components. But basically what you want to do is you want to click on the button for purge unused. So for some models, this is going to change a lot. For other models, it's not going to change very much at all. But you want to make sure that you do this anytime you bring this in so that you don't have a bunch of stuff in the background kind of clogging up your model and making your file size bigger. All right, and then the other thing you want to do is anything that's going to be high polygon, so it's going to have a bunch of lines and edges in it, you want to take those items and you want to put them on their own tag so that you can toggle them on and off. Because what's happening is every time I rotate around, and these are not super high poly trees, but we're going to use them as our example. Um, every time that you fly around, SketchUp is having to re-render all of the edges and faces in here. So if you take them like this, and you just go into tags and create a tag, and we'll just call it zero zero underscore trees. And so if you take these and you put them on the zero zero underscore trees layer right here, and then you toggle that off, 
that means that you can fly around and work in this view without having to render all of your different trees and things like that. So anytime something is high polygon, um, especially when it's a context model and it's not something you're currently working on, I recommend putting it on a toggle so you can turn it on and off. All right, so if you're looking to learn SketchUp, make sure you check out the SketchUp Essentials course. That's my detailed course where I talk through all of these concepts and a lot more, as well as having live coaching calls for SketchUp as well. So you can check that out at the link down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.